It's time of year. He's a choice painter again. I know I'm doing a few videos off this job, but I'm doing a lot of details. And so that's why I'm sharing them with you. Uh, we are midway on this bathroom repair here. Like I said, the carpenters, they use silicon caulk. Silicon caulk can't be painted. And that takes regular paintable caulk. So, I scraped off what I could. And I re the whole thing as if I was mudding it. Just cover everything with caulk. Slide it and get it as clean. And, you know, just like you're doing drywall mud. Just pretend it's drywall mud and make sure you don't have no edges or nothing. But anyway, you run all that like I showed you in the previous video. And then you take drywall mud and go over that. Now, I'm good enough I don't have to sand the caulk. And I would suggest to sand the caulk in before you go over it with the drywall mud. But in any case, make sure it's all good and sanded. And then prime it with this primer I got sitting right here. Okay, it kilts too. And uh, I will say some other tips too. You can take a wet rag after you sand it to get rid of most of the dust. Don't put no pressure on it. But just take a wet rag and just kind of jiggle it up and down to knock the excess dust off. And then you can prime it. Also, very, 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 very important. I had a drop cloth here. Caught most of the dust. But in the corners where I worked, I got a lot of dust. So I had a rag and I mopped it up with a rag and rinsed it out. But it goes all the way back to here where I'm walking. It's a good idea to go ahead and mop the floor with a rag real good and get rid of all that dust. And then go ahead and prime it. And that would be step two, last step. Well, mid, mid of the work, you know, because I, I, first of all, I had to caulk it, all of this. Then I had to mud all of this, sand all of this, prime all of this, and then finish all this and maybe do another coat. But on finished coat, I don't know if it'd take one or two coats, but that's that's all the processes, five processes, not including the floor that you gotta keep up with the floor. So I'm gonna take a rag and clean it up real good. And then I'm gonna take the drop cloth out and shake it, of course, then take another rag and get the dust up Got to start from here, just work my way all the way back. Whoops. Close and dirty. <laughs> but uh, you get the idea. Move, keep it clean as you go along. That's the process. And that's the way I operate. I'm a very picky painter, you know, and that's just the way I have to do my work because I have to watch every step I take. But now, We'll prime all this, and I'll probably just show it what it looks up after it's primed on this video. So, thanks for all the support. I hope this is helping you homeowners out there, and the music is going great. This is Tommy Gilles, your choice painter. Common sense tips and tricks, and have a great day, folks. Next time.